Hello, this is my 2006 Carrera 4 convertible, and today we are going to tackle a problem I've had since I bought the car. So, what we got here is a good old cup holder. Oh, it actually attached. Um, yeah, so there's a, there's a problem here. So, cup holders work. But, the door does not latch. But at least the cup holders latch. So, something in here is not right. But we're gonna take it out and see what we can find. So underneath the glove box, there's two, hopefully the GoPro can see it, but there's two Allen heads we have to remove. So I found this, I think it's a four or five millimeter, probably came with some sort of furniture I was building. But it fits up in here. Helps having the uh, like angled end on it. Got the two screws out. This whole thing should just pull out like that. And now we can take it inside to see what's going on. Now that we have this out, let's go over this real quick. So it goes in like this. Now it's actually latching, but not unlatching. <laughs> Which, that could be a problem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get into this. So, best way looks to be all these silver Allen headed screws. this up okay so now we can get some a good look of what's going on in here so when this rotates there's a little cam huh It's almost like a, uh, it's supposed to be like a, you know, a big pin. Click it once, it goes down, click it again, and it comes out. But now it's not even doing that. So it does like a loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. So it's, it's this white thing I think is the problem. How to get that out? Maybe I can lube it up. Well, first I'm gonna see if I can blow it out, see if it got dirty. I just got this car a couple months ago and the previous owner says that it had been a problem for him as well. Okay, I got my friend, the Blastaway Duster and some silicone lubricant. I think I'm gonna go with a two-pronged approach with that. So I'm gonna get the dust out. Wow. It's pretty powerful. Okay. C4 is better now, anyway. Stop. Oh, it's still sticking. Okay. So I'm gonna let, let these guys extend. Put a little cloth down. Because I don't want to get 
too much of this stuff around. But I'm just going to try to spray. Because it doesn't, nothing's broken. So I'm just going to spray the gears and the little track. Okay. So let it coat a little bit. Remove some of this excess silicone. So a new one of these is like $300 online and I'd like to see what I can do. Okay, so I think I have a test I want to do. So it works when it's upside down. I turn it upside down, press it, let's go. Works great. Except you know, your cup holders don't go upside down. So you spin it upside, right side up, it won't close. So what I'm gonna try to do is because when it's upside down, gravity pulls this, this tab, or pulls the white piece downwards. So what I'm gonna do, if, if you can artificially hold it up, I don't know if you can see this, but if you hold it up and then close it, it will, if I had two hands, see, now it holds. So what I want to do, and then you press it again, comes out. So what I'm going to try to do is just put a little piece of tape under here, real small. So we're down to like two millimeters. Oops. So the one on the right is the first test, second, which was too much. The second one closes, but won't allow it to open. So now I want to try this third one. All right. All in the name to save. $300, but I think it's worth, worth a shot. So I'll peel that up. That's a better view. So all I'm doing, again, stuffing this all the way at the bottom. All I want to do is try to keep Try to keep the white piece from bottoming out completely. And I think we're just holding it up like one millimeter now. So it goes barely above the sweep. Okay, so now it goes back in. All right, now. Will it close? Closes. Will it open? I can't get any thinner. So what you can see it's doing is it's banging against just still too much. Well, if you tap it, okay. Okay. I don't know if I can cut it any any thinner. I don't want to break this thing either, even though it's it's definitely something. If you're a 997 owner, I'm sure. Why did they do it like this? Oh, all right. One more test. 
Okay, test six. I think I'm on to something. So I noticed, okay. So let's see where I'm at. So I cleaned the silicone back off and just playing around with the white piece, I noticed I, if I pressed down on it while the door was shut, it would, the white piece would go down enough to uncatch itself. So what I did is cut another piece of tape, put it on top of the white piece, door closes, good, doesn't unclose. But this foam tape is thick enough that when the top piece is added, if I can line up the grooves, okay. Okay, so top's on, I don't have it bolted, but if I press it, it unclasps. If I clasp it back up, clasps. This is infant. It's like made, it, it works. This is so much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some measurements for you guys and then uh, bolt it up together, put it in the car. Hopefully everything still works. Okay, so I got some dimensions. First off, this is what uh, mounting tape I'm using, scotch one inch. Um, but I cut it down to three quarter of an inch long and three eighths appears to be the right size so three eighths for that and then on top is smaller let's say an eighth wide and right now it is about a half inch long okay so i'm going to put it together and see if mounting it makes any difference i hope not i hope we're uh, on the right track Okay, it's all buttoned together. Let's test it one last time. Make sure everything works. Okay, that goes in, that goes in. Please shut. Yes, unshut. Shut, yeah. All right, let's get in the car. Okay, so new and improved cup holder. Let's see if it still will shut. <laughs> after I bolt it in for the second time now. Okay, that's tight. Glove box is in. All right, moment of truth. Can I fix the cup holder door with less than $5? Oh, come on. Okay, door opened. Door shuts. Door opens. Door shuts. Door opens. Door shuts. All right. That's, a, I would say, this is a success. Might not be perfect, but you can, that, this is, um, okay. <laughs> let's, let's go, go for it all, please. All right, that is good enough. I like it.